This is M995, Sunday Night Music Meeting. Dwight Arnold with you. I've been talking about this competition uh, over the hill there in the Inland Empire, and we've got Conspiracy of Thought coming in later in the show to talk about their part in it. But I thought I would talk to the organizers of the big competition because it is a big one. I have on the line Susan from TNT Music Promotions. Is that right? Actually, it's TNT Music Productions. Productions. Boy, I get it wrong all the time, don't I? But that's, I, that's the way I always do things. So for Music Productions, and that means that you're doing a lot of stuff. First, we should say um, you just got finished doing the Norco fair, right? Because you're involved with that. That is correct. We ran 50 bands out there for five days. Boy, that's a lot of work. And on top of that, you do this competition. Now, how long have you been doing this band competition? What's it called? Um, well, actually, it's this, this um, particular competition is called Battle for the House of Blues. And um, this one has been running for 12 weeks. We've been a uh, production company for a couple of years now. And as we grew, we pretty much tried to become a catalyst to the inside bands um, to help them get to their dreams and, and take it to the next level. So we give over $10,000 in cash and prizes to the top five bands as well as the weekly winners. Wow, so th this is a series of competitions that has some winning that goes on, but then you go through and you knock it down to semifinals and finals, and then one band gets an amazing package. Can you go through some of the stuff that's in this package? Absolutely. Um, actually, the thing that the, the bands go are going for in the big deal is to be able to play with a national known act. And what we're doing, we're in production with House of Blues. We're letting them go in and look at their schedule and pick the band that they want to play with out of a year's schedule. And they don't have to sell tickets or anything for the show they just go down and perform that is so cool and on top of that they will get uh, we're giving over thirty five hundred dollars in cash and merchandise we're giving t-shirts and cds uh, for the fan for them to give to their fans as well as recording time we're giving recording studio sponsorships scholarships for the west coast rock school um, entry into the inland empire music awards new equipment and instruments from guitar center and uh, a lot of cash from TNT Music Productions. Wow, that's a lot of stuff to put together. You had to work on this for a while, didn't you? Yes, we did. And it's, it's come together real easy, you know, because as we invite judges in and people that are in the industry and they see what we're doing and seeing how we're helping these um, bands, the unsigned bands, they want to be involved. And they call us and ask us if they can be sponsors and, and be involved. Do you ever think of uh, doing another competition out here in the desert? Uh, actually, we have a lot of bands that come from out in the desert over here to us. <laughs> <laughs> well, absolutely. Well, because the last com there used to be competitions out here, but the last two or three years, there's none. There was really? a couple of years where it was really involved, and we had a couple of promoters that were doing one in particular. Kiva Works did a great series of Battle of the Bands, but all of that stuff is over now. Nobody's had any place to compete for a couple of years, so the time is right for you. Well, that's right. You know what? We'll talk about that later. Maybe we can hook it up. <laughs> <laughs> like you need more stuff to do. Now, you're in the you're in the semifinals part of the competition, you're right? You've done the preliminaries. You're down to how many bands and what's going on right now? Okay, absolutely. That's correct. And uh, we have got, um, on September 15th, we've got a, a really good lineup coming up. And now what's going to happen here at the end on September 22nd, that'll be the finals. And the top 10 bands will be vying for all those prizes. And actually, I didn't tell you this before, but the top five bands get all of those prizes except for the House of Blues playing with the National Act. Wow. Other than that, they all get the merchandise, the cash, the scholarships. They get all those things. Wow, that's great. And they get to perform in front of uh, celebrity judges, which is kind of cool. We've got members of um, Mantis, Skeletones, Heart, Bad Company, Paul Rogers Band, Dio, Black Sabbath, wow. Lynch Mob, uh, Kiss, and Cottonmouth Kings all coming out to do some judging. Wow, they're going to be out on the finals night, did you say? That's correct. On the 22nd, come on down and, and see some le celebrities and meet them and watch a great show. So is it uh, Daddy X that's coming out from the Cottonmouth Kings? Um, you know what? I'm not sure who's, which one is coming out. The Guitar Center is handling that for me. They're one of our sponsors. <laughs> well, we've had him on the show a couple of times. Also, uh, Paul from the Skeletons has been out here a few times. So we know the bands well, and uh, we've had him here, and it'll be great to see them sitting in the judge's chair and, and watching yeah, this in the It's actually going to be Mark, Mark from Skeletons, the bass player. He's oh, coming. Oh, okay. All right, And cool. he's, done, he's done judging for us previously, too, and really liked it. Yeah, Skeletons are one of the best bands to ever come out of Ri Riverside, ever. I ever. agree. They are amazing. We love I those agree. guys. Now, uh, uh, you don't know who's going to be in the finals yet because you're still in the middle of this competition, but the 15th is the next night. That's next Saturday. That's T correct. Do you know who the bands are on that, that night? I certainly do. Um, we're going to have Conspiracy of Thought. Yay. And we will also have Desecrate, uh, Never Say Die, Ghost in the Line, Top Shelf, My Demise, Orpheus, 
Soon, Valiant, Second Fall, Soul Cloud. Wow. And uh, Souls of Fuse. Now, now the thing that we, we need to mention here is this start in order to get in all these bands, they don't have two songs and off. You're actually doing this like all day long, aren't you? Oh, yes. We start at what, 1 o'clock, and they actually have 45-minute sets to get on the stage, play, and then and get off the stage. And so they, they get a good half-hour set that they get to play, and, and usually it's plenty of time. And the faster you set up, the more time you have to play, right? That is correct. <laughs> and we actually we provide a drum kit on the stage for them so that they don't have to do all that Oh, part. that's great. In the preliminaries, but in the... In the semifinals and finals, they need to bring all their own equipment because that's part of being a professional band is being able to do that stage change really fast. Okay, but you know when Conspiracy of Thought plays and Tony beats the drums till they're nothing but little bits of sand, you're going to have to bring in another set. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, well, we'll be prepared. We'll have something on the sideline for them. <laughs> now, we should say that this isn't just a Riverside competition. Bands could have entered from anywhere, and we did have some bands from the desert enter into this. They aren't going to be on the show next, uh, the semifinal round next Saturday. But uh, in the future, just so everyone knows, you don't have to be an Inland Empire band. Oh, right? let me tell you, a Soul Cloud is coming out of Venice Beach. We've got Desecrate coming out of Burbank. We've got um, My Demise is coming out from um, San Diego. So they're, they're coming from everywhere. We, we've had bands coming all the way, actually, as far as San Francisco. We've got a band um, from Chrysalis from Barstow. So they're coming from everywhere. Yeah, so it's not an Inland Empire. It's just a big competition for everybody to come that from all correct. over. That is correct. It's one of the largest band battles that are that are going on, and um, they're coming from everywhere to be in it. That's excellent. Good job on that. Thank you. All right. Well, uh, thanks for spending the time with us. There's one more thing that we should really talk about. What's that? Where is it? <laughs> oh, hey, that's a good idea. It's in downtown Riverside. It's at Lake Alice. That's 3616 University Avenue. Lake Alice is a great place to do this, too. You picked a good venue. I, I know Lake Alice. I used to w live and work out in the Inland Empire, and it's just a good live venue. Thank you. You know how we picked it? I just decided, I just thought about what's the best place that I would love to go see live music at, and that's the place that I came up with in my head. I walked in, asked them about it, and it was a godsend because they said, you betcha. It's a great place, and they have that coffee place right across. It was, it was it Back to the Grind. Back to the Grind. Back to the Grind is right across the street, which, which I know well there, too. <laughs> that's correct. That is correct. All right. Well, thanks for spending some time with us on the phone, and and uh, we're going to have to get an update from you when this whole thing is over, right? Absolutely. All right. Once again, that is uh, Susan from TNT Music Productions. Did That's I get it correct. right? Ah, finally, I got it right. Very this, good. This is the Sunday Night Music Meeting on M99.5. One of the bands going to be on stage next week, I think, at 4 o'clock is up next. Conspiracy of Thought on the Sunday Night Music Meeting. Hey, rock on.